Hello, right, you've got a Radza X4 and you want to use the RP2040 on it. This is some really quick and rough guidance on how to make it work. I got this working yesterday after a messing around for about an hour. So I'm using Ubuntu 2404 on the Radza X4 and the first thing I'm going to do is update the repositories. This basically says to the computer, I want to update the list of files that I can download software from to make sure they're all up to date. It's going to go, yep, yeah, no problem, let's do that. I don't need to do a full system update, just this quick update the repos. Now I'm going to install Fonny. Fonny is a Python editor, really simple to use and it's quite handy for the RP2040. I've already got it installed, it's going to go right, that's installed Les. Now I need to do sudo usermod-a-g dialout les. What it basically means is as super user do the command user modify add dash a dash g to a group called dial out to user les so I'm called les so you change your name to whatever it is unless it's les and hello fellow les that puts a les user in a dial out group and that means that les can then use serial communications on the Radzer X4 to communicate with the embedded RP2040 so let's do that now there you go and then I have to reboot so we'll simulate a reboot now reboot so now I need to put this uh, RP2040 into bootloader mode. Now on the Pico you've got the boot cell button. So you put the power into the Pico at the same time as holding the boot cell button and it will put it into bootloader mode. On the Radzer X4 we have we have a button just there between the A and the D of the Radzer logo. If you press that it resets the Pico and presses the boot cell button at the same time. So the Pico, the RP2040, will appear as a USB device, just like a normal Pico. And then you would go to the Raspberry Pi Pico um, website, which is pops up in the, the volume, the, the drive that appears as an HTML file. Double click on that, go to MicroPython, download the latest MicroPython for the Pico, copy the US2 file over onto the Pico, and it will reset. And you'll have a Pico, an RP2040 embedded into the Radzer X4. But then how do we talk to it? Well, that's where Fonny comes into it. So I'm just going to open Fonny now. And I'm already connected to this, but I'll show you how I do it. So I go to the tools, options, and then there's a tab called interpreter. From that drop down, we can select loads of different things, but we're bothered about MicroPython, Raspberry Pi Pico. And because we've reset the uh, Radzer X4 before, rebooted it I should say, it's now put my user Les into the dialout group, which means I can see any serial devices that are connected. I can see a, a whole slew of things here, absolutely tons of stuff, but I'm just bothered about this one. Board in FS mode, board CDC slash dev slash TTY ACM0. That is the Pico. So if I click OK now, we see down here, that it's all running. So I can do print hi, not doing hello world because this keyboard's awful. There you go, we have MicroPython running. So I can then get some code and I've got a little example circuit built already. And I'm going to save that to the Pico as test.py. Yeah, original, I know. And then I'm going to click on run and we'll see the LEDs here changing colour. If I go to the big other camera, you can see it even easier. And if I put a diffuser, even easier still. There we are. So that's us using the RP2040 embedded into the Radzer X4. Quick and rough instructions. Cheers.